Let's enter the Nolan House, a haunted house attraction with six rooms. The next room more scarier than the previous one. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Except this isn't your normal haunted house. No One House is a creepypasta story written by Brian Russell, which by the way made our top 10 creepypastas. Channel Zero's version of No In House is adapted by Nikatashka, who has done an amazing job at Channel Zero as a showrunner. Now let's get into the storyline. Spoiler alert warning. Are you ready? Let's begin. The No In House is a haunted house theme attraction that shows up once a year and never at the same place. It travels throughout the world from France all the way to the States. The main characters, Margot, Jules, JD, Seth, and Dylan, enter the No In House. It is said those who make it to room 6 are never seen again. In room 1, you get to see different mannequin heads who have the same faces of each of the participants. This is the house showing you how normal your head is before the house darkness eats away at your memories. Some pretty fucked up stuff. Remember on a later episode, Jules and Margot return to room 1 and it actually shows the status of each of their heads, which at this point was not good. Anyways, back to the house. Each of the rooms have an exit room, and they seem legit. According to Dylan's warning, I believe the exit in room 2 is your last chance out of the no win house. Once you enter room 3, the house will try everything it can to trick you into staying inside the house. From this point on, the house is deep inside your head. The house will use your nightmares against you, but it's what you desire is more likely your demise. If you haven't used any of the exits, then the only way out of the house is to go through room 6, which is an alternate world of the real world called the house world. Unlucky for our main characters, but lucky for us, this is where they end up. In room 6, otherwise known as the house world, a population is surrounded by cannibals and hollows. So what are cannibals and hollows? Let's get into it. Once the house gets a good handle on your mind, it will create cannibals based on your memories. These cannibals could take the forms of your loved ones, or something you desire, or just something you're scared of. These cannibals will feed off of your memories. This is how they survive. This is how the No In House eats. Hollows are sadly the victims of the No In House. These are the people who disappeared by entering room 6. Once the cannibals have eaten away all of your memories, with no memories left you become a blank version of yourself. This process of you becoming a hollow probably takes about a year's time in the house world, or a little bit more than a year. Let's get into the characters and how the no-in house will take advantage of each one. Margo lost her father who sadly committed suicide, Jules has a thing for succubus, and JD wants a perfect version of himself. Seth who grew up in a foster home wants to be with his family. Dylan actually survived the no-in house in a previous year, however he left his wife behind. Now he's back, vowing to get his wife out of the no-win house. All I can say is good luck with that. Let's get to the conclusion of the no-win house. JD, Dylan, and his wife have fallen victims in the house world, while Margo, Seth, and Jules escape the no-win house. Except Margo's cannibal father, known as the father, has followed them into the real world. In a devious plan by Seth, and he did plan this all along, Margo, the father, and Seth return to the no-win house. By the time Jules can stop them, the house has disappeared for the season. One year has gone by, a new destination as an Owen house has returned to feed. Jules has to travel to Canada to re-enter the haunted house and into the house world. Just like Dylan before her, she's returning for a rescue mission as her best friend isn't far away of becoming a hollow. Before Jules can get to Margot, the true villain is finally revealed and it's not really a surprise. Seth has no plans of letting Margo out of the house world. Seth, who grew up without a home, has found that the house world is his true home. <laughs> what a sick dude, but it doesn't end there. For as long as seven or eight years, or even more, Seth has been luring people into the Nolan house. For what purpose? To shack up with a cute girl. Well, until they become hollow, then it's on to the next girl. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what a true scumbag looks like. Seth had the perfect life in the house world, a girlfriend for a year or so until they're no good, and then he gets to lure in a new potential girlfriend. Seth didn't care that the house was eaten away at their memories, as he has helped destroy six previous girlfriends, who by the way, they all look alike. His cannibals was his family, or a family that he always wanted. He made sure to lock them up in a cage, 
so his memories would stay intact. He had the perfect plan. Unfortunately for Seth, Jules ruined his perfect plan, snapping Margot out of it and bringing her back to reality, making her see that Seth really doesn't care for her. Margot released Seth's family from their cage, and with a group of hungry cannibals who haven't eaten in a while, more likely made Seth into a hollow very quickly. It was nice knowing you, Seth. Now that Seth is out of the way, the only thing keeping Margot in the house world is her cannibal dad. Even though she knows it's not her real dad, but it kinda is. And you can see that they actually do care for each other. Margot's real father committed suicide so his family could keep the house, and Margot would have enough money to be in college. The house world version did pretty much the same thing. He could see by each memory that he was eating away was killing Margot and making her a hollow. So the father was willing to sacrifice himself so Margot can live and get out of the house world. A very touching scene. It also shows how twisted the Noen house can be. The show ends with Margot Jules escaping the Noen house, this time for good. So what is the Noen house? Remember all those orchid flowers all over the house world? Seth pointed out to Margot that if you look closely enough, you can see that's really an orchid mantis disguised as a flower to lure in the insects so the mantis can prey on them. That is the exact description of the Noen house. The Noen house is an organism, a monster, a predator that is disguised as a haunted house to lure in its food, which is us, so it can feed on our memories. And the way the show ends, I believe it's still around, unless off camera, Margot and Jules burn down the house. What a great ending, and I really do enjoy what they're doing at Channel Zero. Horror Squad rates Channel Zero no in-house a 7.7 out of 10. Tune in to Season 3 Channel Zero's Butcher's Block, which is based on creepypastas, Search and Rescue Woods.